What's up guys, in this video we're going to be teaching you all the ins and outs of the movements of Octane. And this is going to go over pretty in-depth things to like major tips you should know if you're playing Octane and especially if you want to play them for like rotating faster and you know just an overall good Octane movement guy going over his abilities and how that can affect his movement. So, Octane moves at 30% faster than normal speeds and 40% faster while sprinting. So, you're moving almost distance and a half when you're sprinting during other... faster than other characters. And during a full stem, you know? If you were to stem, like, distance-wise and you were to calculate it, almost... almost distance and a half. A little under. You know, 40%. But that also means that all of your momentum, so say like a wall jump, all of the momentum from your speed boost to speed increase makes your wall jumps go a lot faster and farther, and you can carry your momentum through a lot more and better movements. And um, we're gonna go with wall interactions, then mantle interactions, and there is nothing on zip interactions. Uh, stem doesn't really affect zip lines. Wall interactions is basically when I'm stemmed and I have the permanent speed increase, any movement off the wall is gonna, like, the momentum I put in is going to be equal or more. So, like, if I were to wall jump regularly, I'm getting all the momentum I put in equals the same as I put out. So, you know, obviously algebraically if you put more in you're gonna get more out and you get more speed and further distance as in like an outward byproduct of you stemming on in, into a wall jump now this goes for wall jumps wall like uh wow wall strafes like when you jump off the wall and strafe this goes into like wall running if you want to get technical it goes into wall running like this it is like your stem pretty much carries into every single movement aspect like every single movement ability especially on controller it's very useful because a lot of other controller players like say you play like let's just play ash for chess and giggles since blade. i'm like base movement speed that's like the fastest i can go one octane's octane's stem rock. is faster than that but wall jumping with the stem is one of the fastest things in the game second only to rate's new port buff She's the fastest in the game now. But as a regular character ability, Octane is second to none for speed and movement. With Pathfinder being like a close third. Okay. And um, next we'll go into mantle interactions. So we all know super glides. We all know mantle. S oh, sorry. Mantle slides. That was a bad one. Let me redo that. We all know mantle slides, when you slide out of the top of a mantle. And then we all know just mantle jumps, where you don't do a super glide or a slide. You just jump at the top. So, the same thing with the stem. Everything you do is going to be multiplied by that percentile increase. That wasn't a super glide, that was just a mantle slide. Super glide goes way further, if I can hit one, like that. That's a super glide with stem on. Way further, way faster, and a lot more effective. And uh, obviously Mantle Jumps too will do it for Shedden and Giggles. That was a Mantle Jump. And the good thing is that with the stem, it carries a lot more momentum through it, and you can keep going further distances. And there's no real limit to the stem unless you want to, like, not kill yourself to whites. You know, if you're running from zone or something, it's probably not the best idea to spam stems. Um, next we can do pad interactions. Um, a common misconception is that hitting your stem when you hit the pad is good for you. It is not. Stop doing it. It's a waste of HP. It's a waste of time. You go the same distance on the Octane pad with or without stem. It is not that. It's, there's no change. It has a baseline speed output when you hit the stem and when you hit the pad. The pad has a limit to the speed you can output. It actually locks it in. Okay, so don't stem into the pad. It's stupid, it's dumb, waste of time. Also, uh, if you play Octane, you probably already know this. If you just run into a pad, you go more of an upwards angle. 
It's a, it's a more obtuse angle. You go a little hot you go higher rather than farther. But if you crouch or slide into a pad, you go at a steeper angle, therefore more distance. And most people just, you know, they need to just get somewhere far fast, so they just slide through. It's a lot faster and more effective. And another thing, you can strafe with an octane, like the second octane jump from the jump pad for like a little bit of strafe, strafe counter movement, like that. You just hold left or right and you follow the perfect rotation for b-hopping. And um, yeah, a lot of people have a common misconception that if I wanted to go behind me, I'd have to go all the way around and then run through. But that is not the case. Not the case at all. You can melee, you can crouch, and then melee and hold the direction you want to go. Because the melee brings you forward enough, so the way the pad works, it detects the movement you're going and sends you in that direction. At when you're like, your character interacts with the hitbox. The thing is, the melee doesn't dictate movement, it just it pretty much just tele teleports your character forward a little bit. And the pad doesn't know where to send you, so it goes off of your movement input. So if I wanted to go directly to the left, I melee and hold left. So it, it's just a little trick that everyone should know. Also, if you don't know this, you haven't played Octane enough, if you don't do a movement input and you just melee, you go straight into the air and straight back down. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And uh, based off this, if you hold crouch and then a movement, it'll do the regular jump pad. I don't know, it could be like a fun little thing you can do. I don't know. But I feel like a lot more people should know the melee trick, because it's very useful rotating, for rotating. Especially if you're like, final circle and you're on the wrong side of a pad and you don't want to take much zone damage. And you just need to rotate in. You have to be crouched and at a standstill meleeing and holding the direction you want to go. So I'm crouched at a standstill, I'm not going to touch my movement input, except the direction I want to go after I melee. I'm going to melee and say I want to go to the left. Melee, hold to the left. Very useful octane tip. Very useful, very handy. Also, a lot of people don't know about it. Even, like, I've had friends that I've played with in Ranked, where I'll play octane, and they've been playing since, like, Season Zero, and they don't know this trick. I don't know how, it's like one of the first things I learned about Octane. But yeah, very useful tip, tip to know. And uh, next we'll go over B-Hop healing. And um, every Octane player should know how to do this. We're gonna take damage right quick. Give me a frag. I'm probably too weak for this actually. Yeah, I'm definitely too weak. Okay, there we go. So, say I wanted to heal. And, but I'm getting shot in the back. You could do the normal, the normal two hop and turn, V hop to keep your momentum, like that. Or you, since you're playing Octane, you do this, and you don't have to do the two hop. You could just V hop because your Octane stem changes the speed cap of your sliding, and makes it to where you don't have to worry about your momentum being like slowed down or canceled because it constantly keeps your speed at a minimum. And that minimum just so happens to be where you can B-Hop heal pretty much infinitely as long as you have a stem on. And as you can see, I can pop pretty much a full Phoenix while stem healing. And you can do it both standing and crouching. It's just a lot more useful crouching, especially on a controller. Because of multiple reasons that I'm not going to really get into, because it's pretty self-explanatory. But, like... This also works for ulti excels. Like, people ask me that a lot. Like, does does B hopping work for ulti excels? I don't know why it wouldn't, guys. I'm, like, use your brains a little bit. But yeah, if I wanted to pop a phoenix, I'd start popping, then stim. And you can see how far I get. And also, yeah, B hopping, you can hold left or right, and spam your jump. And you can strafe, just a little bit. I like to call this uh, slide hop strafing. It's very useful, very handy, especially if you're Octane or Horizon. But yeah, I think that should be about it for the Octane guide. Um, I wonder if there's anything else I'm forgetting. Um, 
Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll talk about this. It's not very useful, but... So we all know Fade Glides, you know. Fade, fade Slides. Wow, what the fuck is a Fade Glide? We all know Fade Slides, you know, you're shooting behind cover, you holster, crouch on crouch. And it gives you a full speed crouch. Octane, you don't have to holster, pretty much. It's just shoot, shoot, stim. I pretty much get the slide for free. I don't know. I think that's pretty interesting and isn't very utilized. Isn't utilized very much. But, well, slide, fade sliding is effective enough already, like as is. Also, octane stimming will, like, uh, negate most. Like, like when you fall from a height and you get stunned. Uh, for some reason, octane stimming negates most of it, like from a specific height. Like if I were to fall from there, fall from there, and I tried to slide, it wouldn't let me. But if I pop an octane stim, it will. I think it's the speed threshold, but I'm not too sure. If someone want, way smarter than me wants to help me out on that. But yeah, basically, octane stim movement goes and carries through everything. Uh, the melee thing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next time where I... I don't know. What do y'all want to see? Comment down below. I'm also probably live on Twitch grinding to Masters because I don't really want to hit it this season. Uh, let me know if y'all want a Pathy one. Pathy's really cool. Wraith has a lot going on because she got buff, but movement-wise. Um, let's see. Who else is like really decent for movement? Horizon? I'm very happy to make a video on. Um... Valk, there isn't much, but there this is squad. a little bit. Wings up. But yeah, just uh, let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Wings up. Did you know this trick on the Octane Jump Pad? To where if you throw it down, stand next to it, crouch, melee, and hold any direction that it will send you in that direction due to the detection of movement and the way the jump pad works? If you didn't, throw me a like and check out my YouTube for the full Octane movement guide. Peace. Also, another quick tip, if you want to flex on people, you can bounce grenades off the Octane Pad. Not, not that effectively, I might add. But if you wanted to hit a trick shot, or a trick nade, it, it's, it's possible. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's a thing. So... I don't know, do, do with that information as you will. Alright, actually by this time.